Hey everybody, welcome back to the Silent Age. This is your pal Cephas Red. So, uh, last episode I got really frustrated with this, but um, now we're going to get this done. I'm only two chapters away from finishing it. I'm going to get this thing finally done, taken care of, uh, either this episode or the next episode. And then, you know, it'll be all finished. Because this game is just... I, mm, I never, I've never played a character that was so sassy and so mean-spirited. You know, and talks way too much, and it's just, hmm, just, mm. anyways. So here we go. We're gonna continue on inside Archon. Upon infiltrating the labs, Joe finds himself erasing the clock. He must destroy the Polaris, Polaris supercomputer before the time pilot departs and returns the, with the virus. So we saw um, the uh, professor, uh, you know, holding his back and whatnot because th we think he's probably bleeding and whatnot. So. Here we go. And we're going to hopefully find them and figure things out. So, All right. Ready, set, go. So I'm probably not going to waste any time. Just going get, to get going with this here. Okay, control panel. Sweet. Oh, hey. Right, I remember now. No reaction. Flash processing unit. Mm -hmm. What you're looking for is in the room at the end of the hall. Okay, we're going to the room at the end of the hall. These are things you can see when we get in this one is unmarked. Okay. Clearance level level four. Okay. Boom! Knew it. Hey. He's only access car with a stroke of luck, level four. You see he's ending over here. The power even would have been long okay so boom worked all right this is horrible there's tubes over there the people in them what kind of sick experiments are they doing in here I wonder gauges it's supposed to keep track of people in those tubes it's a couple of people in these tubes here Ugh. Man was frozen with his eyes open. So I was following where I go. It's weirding me out to no end. Doctor Lambert, prepare me for this. Seeing with my own two eyes will make my blood run cold. <laughs> uh, looks Higgins, Burnham, vitals normal. Fe uh, Featherson, Marcus, vitals normal. Okay. Uh, door. He's looking at me. Okay. Alright. Um, cabinet. It's locked. Light wall. Ow. Ow, fluorescent is pretty bright. Okay, can we. Something really wrong with these x rays. Spine on the guy's all bent out of shape with both his legs broken. Left arm isn't even connected to the shoulder. Oh, interesting. Okay. Now things are getting interesting here. Hmm. Cab door is unlocked but empty. In the upside, I think I found a temporary leak for that fix for that leak. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so uh retinal scanner, see if this works. Remember Frank telling about these uh, installed for these environmental broke in last year. Okay. Alrighty. So trash can. Is there anything in the trash can? Uh, nothing here but this apple core. Boom! Soil. Drop through the hatch. Can I do this with that? I have an idea, but it needs the light and water to grow. Okay. Control panel. Can I do something with the control panel? Can I get up the hatch? Okay, I'm on a mission. Door. Alright. see. I don't see anything yet. Oh I, can, oh, I can go in here now. Yes. All right. Polaris 9 supercomputer. All right. Um, these are two buttons here. And the door's open now. This is it. The computer controls the whole thing. This is what Dr. Lambert 1 wants me to destroy. Oh, 
there it is, the time machine. It's nothing to do with the time machine. I don't have much more than that. Instant camera. Hmm. It's even filming it. Why would they keep that in here, though? <sighs> so here, just like Dr. Lambert said it would be. Can I do that? Postpone the they probably won't postpone the time just because of a bit of litter. Oh, okay, they probably won't do it. Okay. Alright, let's see what we can find here. I don't see anything. Alright, um... Photo time machine? Using some camera time machine? No. I watched Dragon. If I get down here, the last thing I need is a photo from, an ins from a crime scene. No, you're right. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, oh, what's this? Rancy's caution. Keep away from liquid materials. Nah. Don't need a photo of that. Probably not. I'm not a master criminal. I watched enough Perry Mason to know that having a photo like that would be a pretty stupid thing to have if I get caught. Oh, you seen some camera on these guys. It already looks like me in every photo taken. I think I'll spare him the embarrassment. How about this guy? Gross. Great. Now I have a photo of some guy's gold, cold dead eyes. Ugh. Okay. So now I have those. Frank? Frank! Oh. I can't believe you're here. Oh. They told me you quit. I got to go upstairs and everything. Quit? Oh, right. Yeah, well, you know me. I'm a career opportunity guy. Something else came up. Management gave me your job. Well, sort of. The same responsibilities, at least. And, well, my own, so... Is that right? Well, good on you, Joe. Best of luck. Now, if you'll excuse... They said you already left. Did you forget something? Well, no. Uh, well, yeah. I forgot something. Listen, I'm a little tight on time here. Okay. Wait, what are you even doing down here? Well, like I said, I, I was given your job, so... Oh, right, right. Well, still, this part of the labs is actually off-limits, so you probably shouldn't be here. No, right. I know. I just happened to see you, so... Well... Okay. Hey, can we grab a beer down at Izzy's when this is over? This week, I mean. I could really use the company. Beer? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Great. All right, so he's pretty busy. Better not bother him. Uh, photograph advised. Maybe show it to him. Pretty busy. Okay, never mind. Maybe you can sh do with light wall here. Not putting this up there. Okay. Oh, oh, here. It worked. There you are. Why Whoa. the hell haven't you done anything about that leak yet? The leak? Hello. Anyone home? The leak next door, numbnuts. <sighs> Do you have any idea how much the research in those file cabinets is worth? No, of course not. How could you? Just fix that leak, or so help me God, I'll have HR fix your walking papers. Oh yeah, it's that guy in the, in the cryogenic <sighs> thing. Wait, look, I'm sorry. We're all under quite a bit of stress right now. I'm on my third pot of coffee and haven't had a thing to eat yet. I could get you something from the vending machine if... Vending machine? Vending machine? Moving on. I could have something from the vending machine. Don't you think I would have? Moving on. Diet? I'm not sure I... It's an all-fruit diet. The missus ordered me on it after my last physical. The irony is that it's supposed to help me with my high blood pressure. But now I'm just as angry all the time from low blood sugar. Tell you what. You find me some fruit... Then cover for me while I slip out for a quick break, and I won't report you for the leak. Anything will do. Uh, nectarine, perhaps, or an apple? Yeah, an apple. That's the ticket. I'll find you an apple. Make sure that you do. Sorry. 
Okay, well, here, you. I found an apple. Is this some kind of joke? What's the matter with you? I'm... I'm so sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, so... What now? He doesn't want that apple, so... Okay. What apple should he get? Oh, what's in the cabinet here, by the way? Huh. Frank's gone. A lot of files being missing from the drawer now, too. Interdimensional pla planar membrane cryosonic instrument operator's manual rev 1 to 9. These folders are still empty. Hmm. A lot of files seem to be huh. missing. Alright, well, leaky pipe. Oh! Okay, I put it in some water. Good, yes. I keep forgetting to, to look at the time travel device when I'm in every room, so here. Okay, here we go. That corpse. Ugh. Not very... He might not have been very nice to me, but nobody deserves this. Ah, uh, dust pans, okay. So that's broken glass. Corpse. Alright. So can I That's it? That's all I need? Alright. I'm gonna use this pan, I'm gonna go get go get some dirt. All right, dirt time. Big scoop of soil. Oh, I need to hurry, I guess. What just happened? I gotta find out what happened fast. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. I'm going. And it's gone. Good job, you idiot. It's going to be a nice room. I can still make things right, but I need to move fast. All right. Well, um. All right. Well, the thing we need to do is go over here. Then we need to go this way. Meanwhile, oh come on! Ah, uh. this means that from now on, you will be in charge of not only yours but Frank's assignments too. That's right. That means downstairs labs. Yeah, we already know about this. I, I think. Oh, okay. Well, while that's going on. This is going on. Okay, so I don't want to run into myself. Okay, um, huh. over here, please. File under D for dirt, and then put this apple in there. Okay, and then three, two, one, boom! Wow! Holy moly, it works! Nice. I'll just like tell you otherwise. You're a genius, Joe! <laughs> that thing's huge, I had no idea what was running through that pipe, but it worked better than fertilizer. Okay. Oh, we got an apple. And you brought me an apple. Good. Yes. There's no eating in the lab, so I'll just pop out for a few to get some fresh air. Anyone asks, I'm up on 14 redacting Tuesday's pathology reports. Got it? Just don't touch anything. Sure. I'm just going to grab this. Hydrochlor hydrofluoric acid. I can do some real damage to this. Man, this metal alone is making me all dizzy. Alright, so we're going to use this on the computer, probably. So let's make this quick. Alright. Oh, wait. No, that guy in the, in the, in the uh, cryogenic thing is not the same person that I just gave an apple to. Yeah, because they're in the same timeline. Well, I, wait, I hear someone in the other room. Uh, 
Oh, it's me. Should I be writing this down? I don't have anything to write with. Shut up and pay attention. You are standing on the brink of an extinction level event sent in motion by greedy halfwits that will eventually end the lives of every man, woman, and child on the planet. Oh, crap. Okay. All right, so I better put the lab coat on. All right. <laughs> uh. Everything felt really weird there for a second. That was way too close. All right, over here, please. And open that up. Put the lab coat on. Okay, never mind. Don't do it. And on that. Whoa! Smelling right through the control panel like hot knife through butter. And there's Dr. Lambert. I was supposed to prevent this. This wasn't supposed to happen. Poor Dr. Lambert. Keep your voice down. Yikes! Whoa, Shh. what? You, you're alive? Well, <laughs> for a little longer at least. Okay. But how? I faked it. Oh. Faked what? You detailed this exact scenario to me 40 years ago, remember? Oh, yes! <laughs> That's of right! you do. To you, it was a mere day ago. The earlier version of you had to see me die and get dragged off, so as not to alter the course of action that brought you to my doorstep in the first place. Yeah, because, you know, we all remember that. that. I had to survive long enough to assist you in carrying out your mission. So I staged my premature demise. So, you're, you're not dying? <laughs> oh, I am dying all right. Just dying of old age. Despite my better judgment, I attempted to circumvent getting shot by taking a different route to the labs than originally planned. I foolishly believed I might actually bend the rules of cause and effect. Oh, okay. The gaping hole in my gut... Oh. Makes it pretty damned evident how that turned out. Oh, he shot himself. Dr. Lambert, I... No more questions. That's why there's only five bullets. Did you destroy the research data like I asked? Yes. The computer? Yes, sir. Yes, I did. Thank God. Now there is just one last matter to attend to. I need you to stop the last time, pilot. The one who just left. Oh, yeah. Fortunately, we know exactly where... Or should I say when he is? That's probably the doctor with the apple. The device. Give it to me. You see that console behind you? Yes. Check the numbers in the first line of the fourth column and read them back to me. First line of the fourth column. 429-496-7295. Sounds like a phone number. Are you... Are you sure that's correct? I'm sure. Dear God. Oh no, what now? I have configured the device to return you to the same destination. Is that going to be where he lives? Yeah. Where I live? <laughs> Take the device. Go end this. Or could this be Frank? One last thing. <coughs> you can never, never. Oh no. He's probably gonna Dr. Lambert? You can never... Uh, Are you... Dr. Lambert? Sir? And he's dead. He's not breathing. He's probably going to say you, you can never go back to your original timeline or something like that. So, all right. Well. Here we go. Somewhere in the distant future. Oh, okay. Chapter 10, Mobius oh trip. My. What? What happened? How long have I been out? The last thing I remember is using this time machine. It usually makes me a little lightheaded, but never anything like this. Wait, you used the time machine? Oh, no. My time machine, it's completely broken. 
Oh, 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 not not the big one. <laughs> I played this game way too long. Okay, time to stop. <laughs> I th all right, thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. It helps me out, helps you all out, helps out this channel. It gets me to make more epic, awesome content. Remember to click that bell beside the button in order to see my content come up to your feed instantly as soon as it's finished uploading. Thank you all very much for watching. Y'all take care of yourselves. See you in the next video. And I think we're probably going to get to the final episode of Silent Age here pretty soon. So, take care and high five. Wah!